Hey guys and welcome back. In this video, we shall learn how to navigate directories and folders in the Windows command prompt. So let's learn by some examples. First of all, we need to open command prompt with admin rights or admin privileges. Now this is important because Windows might not allow you to switch directories in some cases. Now to move around folders in the command prompt, you need to be familiar with two main commands. The first is change directory or cd. The second one is list directory or dir. The list directory command or the dir will give you a list of available directories you can enter while the change directory command is going to take you to the directory you want. So let's say if you know the directory name that you want to navigate to, you can just enter it simply like you can just write cd and then you can write the name of the directory that you want to navigate to and uh, if there is a directory with that name it will become the active directory and if there is no folder or directory with that name then you are going to get an error something like this so in such cases we use dir or the list directory command to list all the directories or the files that are within this folder so what i'll do is i'll just clear i'll just use cls anyways that's another command cls to clear the screen and now to return to the previous directory we can write cd and then dot dot so if i hit enter and from here you can see that system32 was the active directory i used cd dot dot and i have returned to the previous directory that is windows now let's say I want to see the content of this windows folder. So I'll just write a list directory. Let me give you some more examples. So I'll just use CD so that we can return back to the C drive. And uh, let's say we want to navigate to the download folder. Now I have to change the drive first because my download folder is in the D drive. Now to change the drive, it's very easy. We can just write the name of the drive colon and hit enter and you can see that the, the active drive has changed now i want to list the directories which are present in the d drive so that i can navigate to the download folder so now to navigate to that folder i just have to write cd space then the name of the folder like this downloads hit enter and i have navigated to the downloads folder let's see the content of this folder so we can just write a list directory Let's say I want to access this folder that is documents. So I'll just write cd and then documents hit enter and my active folder or active directory has changed. Now let's say I want to return back to my D drive or the root directory directly. I don't want to use cd and then dot dot two times. Now to return to the root directly directly, I can just write cd space and then backslash like this. If I write cd space backslash, it is going to return me to the root directory directly. So let's hit enter and you can see that I have changed the active directory to my root directory now. In the same way, let's say I want to access the music folder inside the downloads. So I can directly write the path to that folder like this cd downloads backslash music and this way. So which means I don't have to change directory one by one. If I know the path of the folder or the file that I want to access to, I can write the entire path like this and hit enter and then my active directory will change. Now to change the active drive, we can directly write the name of the drive with a colon like this and then hit enter and the drive will be changed. So I hope I have made the working of these two commands very clear and I've given some examples also. Now there's one more thing that i would like to show so let's say you want to access this folder in cmd in command prompt so now to change the directories again and again to reach this directory is going to be a tedious task the other way to reach this directory directly is you can just open that directory or the folder in the file explorer then here in the address bar you can just click here like this and then you can type cmd hit enter 
and your command prompt is going to be opened with the active directory as the directory from where you have opened the command prompt so this makes the accessing of a particular directory or a file very easy in the command prompt so don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more informative videos like this i'm going to see you in the next video thanks for watching